Good morning, church family. Let's stand up. We're going to worship the Lord this morning. Amen? Amen. much for this morning, God. Thank you that you are the lion, Lord, that is coming back for us, that you are on the throne, God. 
and that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess, God, we cannot wait for that day. But that day is now here in this place, Lord. We just submit ourselves to you, God. We're thankful, we're grateful for all that you have for us, God, for being here in this place. So we love you, we thank you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. I want to invite you guys to stand with me this morning as we worship our God. is and what he's done. It deserves our all. Amen. He gave his all for us. Let's give our all for him this morning as we worship him. Never stop working, you never stop, never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, never stop working. You never stop, you never stop. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, never stop working. You never stop. Never stop working, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, never stop working. You never stop, never stop. We make a miracle work, promise keeper, light in the darkness. 
to share a verse with you guys before we go into our last song. 
and it's Ezekiel 37. And I know it's probably familiar to some of you guys, but I just wanted to share it with you this morning. It says, The Lord took hold of me, and I was carried away by the Spirit of the Lord to a valley filled with bones. He led me all around among the bones that covered the valley floor. They were scattered everywhere across the ground and were completely dried out. And then he asked me, Son of man, can these bones become living people again? O oh, sovereign Lord, I replied, you alone know the answer to that. And then he said to me, speak a prophetic message to these bones and say, dry bones, listen to the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says. Look, I am going to put breath into you and make you live again. I will put flesh and muscles on you and cover you with skin. I will put breath into you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I spoke this message just as he told me. Suddenly, as I spoke, there was a rattling noise across all of the valley. The bones of each body came together and attached themselves as complete skeletons. And then as I watched, muscles and flesh formed over the bones. Then skin formed to cover their bodies, but they still had no breath in them. Then he said to me, speak a prophetic message to the winds, son of man. Speak a prophetic message and say, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Come, O breath, from the four winds. Breathe into these dead bodies so that they may live again. So I spoke the messages he commanded me, and breath came into their bodies. They all came to life and stood up on their feet, a great army. Then he said to me, son of man, these bones represent the people of Israel. They are saying, we have become old dry bones. All hope is gone. Our nation is finished. Therefore prophesy to them and say, this is what the sovereign Lord says. O oh, my people, I will open your graves of exile and cause you to rise again. Then I will bring you back to the land of Israel. When this happens, O oh, my people, you will know that I am the Lord. I will put my spirit in you and you will live again and return home to your own land. And then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken and have done what I said. Yes, the Lord has spoken. And I wanted to encourage each of you. I know that we can look back on when we got saved. And that was definitely a dry valley full of dead bones before we had Jesus, before we had the life of Christ in us. But it can also be in our Christian life, we can have dead bones. We can have areas of our lives, of our ministries, of our hearts. We can have relationships that we look at this valley and we're like, these are just dead bones. There's no way that anything can come of this. But we serve a God of life. We serve a God of power. We serve a God that wants to bring life into those dead things, even when there's no hope, especially when there's no hope, because then only God can do it. And so I just want to encourage you. I don't know what that area of your life is, whether they're dreams that you had and it's been a while, whether it's a relationship that you can't see being fixed, whether you have areas of your life, there's no way that this is ever gonna be right, that I can't serve the Lord until this is done, give it to Jesus. Because Jesus can speak life into it and it will happen and then we can give God the glory, amen? Amen, so as we sing this song, just, just give him those things. You would be amazed at what Jesus can do. search the world but it couldn't fill me a man's empty praise and treasures of faith are never enough and you came along and put me back together and every desire is now satisfied, keeping you love. Oh, there's nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you. Lord, there's nothing. Lord, you 
seen them all and you still call me Fred Cause the God of the mountains is the God of the valley And there's not a place your mercy and grace won't find me again Somebody give Jesus praise in this house right now. Amen. God, and we do acknowledge that you have the power, you have the authority, you have the love for us, God, to bring to life those things that we think are dead. God, and I pray that you would do that work even now. God, that you would be speaking those things back into life, God. We love you, Jesus. Thank you for this time that we can come together and just praise you for how good you are, for how good you work in our lives, God, for the love that you have for us and the life that you do give. Thank you for each and every heart that's in this room, God. And I know you see them. I know you see each one of us, each of our problems, each of our joys, God. Each of those things that worry us, Lord, I pray that we would lay them at your feet right now. God, and watch you just do something amazing with them. Amazing with us, Jesus. 
We love you. We thank you so much. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, never stop working. You never stop, you never stop. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. 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 You guys have a great Sunday. Be blessed this week.